is 7 o'clock. This is Bob Steele. In the land of the three. Good evening. This is Dick Bertel. Gail King, Eyewitness News. Good evening. I'm Denise DeSenza. I'm Dennis House. Thanks for joining us. And now this Sunday morning, our Face the State flashback. 50 years ago this week, Senator Robert F. Kennedy, who was running for president, was assassinated in Los Angeles, California. It came just eight weeks after Dr. Martin Luther King was assassinated. There were riots as a result of King's assassination across the country, including here in Connecticut, and many were very worried about what would happen in the summer of 1968. Connecticut Senator Abe Rivikoff was one of those concerned. He joined us here to talk about it at the end of May. And here he is talking with Channel 3's Tom Eaton. Starting off with our congressional report today, we're talking with Senator Abraham Rivikoff. And uh, Senator, during the uh, past few days, or at least the last 10 days, we've had a little break in the congressional session to some extent. You've had a chance to talk with more people. What are they concerned about up in the state? Well, Tom, as you know, I'm back in the state uh, every weekend. Formally and informally, I talk to hundreds of hundreds of uh, citizens of our state. I would say without question, the two overriding issues uh, most on the mind of uh, the people of our own state of Connecticut uh, are Vietnam and the crisis uh, in the cities of America question of law and order and uh, what we're facing this summer and what are we going to do about uh, these problems of uh, looting and so forth. Do we just stand by or what do we do? No, we shouldn't stand by, Tom. Uh, uh, no nation can allow itself to be destroyed and no nation uh, can exist uh, amidst anarchy uh, and amidst violence and rioting. Uh, we have to understand that violence doesn't build a home or violence doesn't create a job. And the great tragedy, the basic victims of violence, are the people who live in the slums and ghettos of America. Uh, all the records indicate that they suffer the deaths and uh, they suffer the injuries and it is their homes and places where they work and where they do business are destroyed. Uh, we must have law and order. Uh, that is preeminent and it would be, it's a great tragedy for all people involved. As you know, Tom, the Senate is now debating the safe streets uh, and crime control bill. This is a large overall measure in which we seek to pass legislation that will be most helpful in this entire field. Uh, I am pleased to tell you that this bill contains a proposal that I first advocated for scholarships and funds for police training. This will be most helpful because when all is said and done, the key to safe streets and the control of crime is the policeman on the beat. He's the man that comes up face to face with all these problems. And these problems are grave and complicated. And we must respect our police, we must support our police, and we must make sure that they are the best trained men that we can possibly put in uniform and they deserve a decent salary. And the proposal that I have that's in this bill will provide scholarships uh, and fees for police training, which is important, and also funds to implement and supplement local police departments. It seems that most of the publicity and most of the discussion coming out of that bill, however, is the, is the gun phase of this. What about this? Well, I think that the gun phase should be controlled, Tom. Uh, to me, there is no justification uh, for the widespread uh, use of uh, uh, arms and guns that uh, you can buy through the mail and buy discriminately. Uh, after all, we know the great tragedies that this country has seen uh, by the indiscriminate sale of arms. Uh, the tragic death of uh, President Kennedy, uh, the tragic death of Martin Luther King, and I certainly will support uh, a gun control feature in this bill. I know that people are quite concerned over the fact that there are many gun sales today, that people are worried so they're going out and buying guns, too. And well, that's, that's tragic, Tom, because you might have a responsible person buying a gun, and you can trust a responsible person, but a responsible person won't have any difficulty under the controls and the permissive features and the licensing. But what it does, you have irresponsible people, you have crackpots, you have people... Uh, uh, who have murder in their heart and vengeance in their soul, and I don't believe we should make it easy for these people to have guns. We should deny them access to guns, Tom. Senator Robert F. Kennedy was assassinated the next week. Thanks for watching this Sunday morning. We'll see you back here next week.